I think it, it kind of shows you they, they're feeling quite comfortable. Oh, sorry, we're Vertigo first. What am I talking about? So this this is an interesting one for me. And I feel like this is almost a must win for PNK because last time around, they did take out Rooster on this map and it is their map pick. So Rooster have yeah, opted yeah. to start T side here. Let's see what they've got for us, Mac. Let's see indeed. And it is time for an A hit to the look of it. Bomb's going to be slowed down on the ramp side. Making some noise there at Scaff Hats. Can't get too much damage done if no one peeks him. And Hazard locks down the swing from TJP. Bomb starts to immediately rotate its way back to B. There's only one person here on defense that's Valiant. And as you can see on the map, he got the pick in window. He got the pick on B stairs. And now Rooster are just getting the feathers torn out of him. Starting well once again for BNK here. A two on five to negotiate for Chelios and Netic. That's a nice goosh to start things off. Puts a little bit of pressure on Valiance over on Tetris side, but ultimately at this point, he's so low on HP. He's just kind of baiting for PZ. Mm, smoke in. They just want this bomb down and chill on 15 points of health. It's going to be difficult for him to stick it and he gets picked right off. But if anyone can win it, in a 1vx, it's this man on your screen. And Netic is just trying to use the guys of the smoke to isolate any of these angles. Addict here on default. Going to be spotted. Lined up. But the ninja player is still living. Oh, whiffy. Peasy. Oh, can't get the job done. It's Hats from the slow flank on stairs to finally find that headshot. But my, oh, my. I was a little bit worried for BNK there. Yeah, you don't give Netic those kind of opportunities. And look, that multi-frag on the Glock has uh, turned into a hero AK for Chelios here. Swordnetic self-sufficiently winning uh, a round that Rooster had no business winning against Mind Freak on Inferno yesterday with just a hero AK. So, yeah, definitely keep our eyes peeled about whether this has potential to actually win them the round here or whether it's just going to be a bit of economic damage against the CT side. BNK initial util to try to contest the chokes. Molly to the bottom of the stairs, smoke onto ramp. Having a little bit of a spray with the MP9s, but Chelios all eyes on this man with the hero AK. Try to find some impact here, a nice timing to slip through the gaps, and it seems like he might have found one. Looks like it. Until he is cleared, and Chell makes good use of the AK. Getting the opening and will recycle that across to Netic instead since Chell's one bullet from being taken out. And he's still got those bangers as well to now set the boys up at B instead. It's only Hazard here, but quickly we are seeing B and K go for this hard rotation. Look at where Addict's playing A from. It's deep in lobby and Hazard gets the info that Rooster are thinking about B as well. Oh, swing in. Hazard. The flash is going to be enough to allow him and PZ to keep on fighting and the MP9s just tear through the T's with that armor. It's clean in the 4v5 for BNK to bring this one back. Yeah, good stuff. Great counter flashes, obviously, on the T scaling up. But with the investment in the last round was very much just trying to do some economic damage, trying to put some pressure on the CT side. They have taken a couple of guns away, so after all said and done... Three rifles here for BNK, AK recovered, and two MP9s. Rooster's buy looking a little more lackluster as they did have to go down to the pistols. But in fact, Netic, the one to buy the hero AK, has still been given an AK. Very generous from his teammates. But who else are you going to have faith in in this region right now? You just do not, not want a rifle in this man's hands. 1.4 rating or something like that over the last couple of months ASAP. Cops a little bit of an MP9 dink, and this is Hazard's confidence right now kicking in. Wants to try to finish off that kill. Oh. No respect given at all. Man advantage to BNK. Lovely timing found by Hazard there. Not sure if it's uh, timing he's worked on. You know, looking at Rooster's tendencies, expecting him to just fall away after the nade, or if it was just pure timing. And BNK, a more passive approach at A, not spotting ramp, but saving a lot of this util. So Rooster could just be smoked out of this round and get forced to run through the util. Yeah, that's a, you're, you're right, 45 seconds. Look how much CT util there is. This is a bit ridiculous. Another smoke goes on to side hall. Another smoke going on to B. BNK feeling relatively safe right now. 
In comes the A pressure on the Util. There's going to have to be some really nice entries for these Ts, but they're getting chunked by the H -E in response. Lane control there, BNK. Investing two members who are going to be mollied out, but PZ goes through to try to fight at lane. That's worked for one, but not a second. And Nedic still trying to get the job done. Hats across the top, able to find one, and just by that time, but Addict, they knew that he was lurking. Over towards that elbow side, Hazard goes for heroic play, but unfortunately, it's now left Valiance in the 1v2. He knows one player is stuck there at default, but Nedic doesn't want to swing, wants to try and play off of his teammate's contact here at lane and needs to stay close on site. But that smoke is about five or so seconds left now. And Valiance will wait it out. Element of surprise is on his side. And the swing is good for the first, but not the second. Nedic on the offline gets the job done. And Brewster will win their first gun round just barely. Yeah, that's just the individual brilliance of Brewster, you know, around where they lose first pick. They lose that player on the wing over towards B. Gets softened up by the util. Doesn't really feel like they're taking a good timing into the, B, uh, the A bomb site there because of how much GT util there is from BNK, but just Nedic and TJ to combine for five. Sometimes that's all you need for Russo. That is going to break the CT side economy. Money is still pretty decent for BNK, and it's still only early days here, so only a soft reset, the single save going to be taken. Yeah. Any kills they can get with these USPs are a bit of a bonus, really, at this point. We'll see if they can catch a timing under either of the B members. ASAP. Just trying to play anti here. As he is going to be left alone, TJ. Walking through Maze to make some noise at A instead. And Rackham. Already on the off angle here at mid. Just waiting for any CTs to put a foot too far forward. And Rooster again just going to let that clock tick down. Yeah, just creeping up. Over towards A, nade stack on Sandbag, just to clear out that position. And yeah, starting to drip feed some util into the A site, seeing if there's going to be any kind of reaction from BNK. It's just a slow, methodical approach here for Rooster. Big rotation coming on in from the CT side here. Both side smoke's going to be... Denying any vision from the CTs. Molly forces them back from Tetris as well. And the nade is there to blow it up. That was the one opportunity. PZ finds one, but it's Zap to answer with three of his own. And with the bomb down, now the time ticks in Rooster's favor. And PZ will not have a shot at anyone. Flanked perfectly from Rackham to keep it relatively clean. Only losing Netic in the process of that round. Yeah. But drawing it up at two rounds each. It wasn't even a gun loss because I think Chell just brought a techie into that round. So yeah. as soon as Nedic went down, picked up the AK and min maxed the economy beautifully. So about 2k plus on all of these Ts. Rooster doing a really good job being responsible with their money. But so B and K, that single save has afforded them a really nice looking buy here. All comes out on PZ. Mac 10 for ASAP. So maybe a bit more of an up-tempo pace straight into B. He's on the entry duties. He's already copped a coup shot to PZ. That's a great trade from Rackham as well. Good round to change that pace. The CT is already going for the almost full rotation. Three here to fight. Flash across the top. Nice little poppy to force Valiance off the line. And that'll be that. You'd think so. Valiance going right back in. The flood too strong. And four alive at the end of it for the CTs. They'll be happy. Yeah, that was really clean. Dealt with that change of pace absolutely beautifully, even though it was only a, a one for one initially. With the bomb plant though, and the cash that Rooster was holding over in the back pocket, it's an immediate reinvestment. Didn't really do much economic damage to BNK though. They only take one gun away, so CT side economy starting to build up, and this one very much hanging in the balance. Rooster dropped this round. They're going to be soft reset. And that's going to be B and K to start to run away with this CT side here. So an important, more important round for Rooster here to be converting. With some A-ramp control from B and K. Ooh, lucky to be alive there is Hats. Let's get picked by the AWP on the line. Smoke goes down onto ramp. Chelios still trying to peer over the top and see what he can find. In the meanwhile, seeing some defaulting towards middle. 
And uh, two players exploring the B stairs at the same time from Rooster. Seeing if they can find a pick, maybe a cheeky little boost timing. Well, they'll find that one. And now it's Netic's turn with the stick instead. Things slowing down now. Is BNK happy just to play a little more passive with the man advantage, except for Valiance at mid. So he's perched on the off angle, but won't find any action as Rackham walks away. And they will regroup towards A instead and maybe try to catch a timing here with the prog smoke up ramp TJ. Worried about sandbags, but in the meanwhile, Sap will fall there. Thinking he could get in front of the stairs smoke. Addict falling back. Will go for the hard swing and find two in the meanwhile. It's just Rackham now in a 1v5. 30 seconds. And he's thinking about just keeping the rifle for the next, which is understandable. Can even get his mitts on that orc now. Right at the bottom of ramp. But I don't know if BNK are going to let him save it. Hmm. See, like they want to go on the hunt. It. I mean, even losing the Galil after time would be not great. Rooster's mm. money is cooked in no matter which way you, you spin it at this point. BNK definitely on the hard hunt. They understand their money's already good. Four players surviving in the previous gun round, so they're definitely having a look around here for Rackham. Close on the bridge side, but couldn't quite find him. At the end of the day, that's Rooster on the single save. This is a pretty terrible start to the T side here for Rooster. They really haven't been putting too many kills together. BNK's economy is starting to run away. And looking yeah. like they may even force around this galil or no just dropping just dropping the galil to chelios and he's going to buy armor always interested with roosters purchasing patterns sometimes questionable but half the time it works so what can you really say oh hats ready and waiting expecting it with that tick of the molly just alerting him to the hard swing coming his way yeah it's one of those things where you know Chelios loves to try to take those 50-50s or, you know, probably even less favorable in that scenario. But it's around where, you know, you're not bringing a whole lot into it. So you need to take some big risks to get the big rewards. Medic, seeing if he can find the Galil in the smoke. And he actually has been able to swindle it. As roosters start to inch their way up ramp here. Smoke there at yellow just to try to slow Rooster down somewhat. And we're going to see them go for the timing. Swing together. Strength in numbers. Molly to deny the plant. Lovely timing on that one coming out of hats. Which does allow Rooster to clear out the elbow. Get some more advanced position. And then even a fully open plant here to try and keep on fighting. Which is what they're going to call to do. TJ just with a Glock here next to Sap. And the pistol's good for one, but the rifle's, of course, providing much better firepower. Scrimming in through that smoke. A chance now for Netic in a 1v2. Isolated fight is damn good, and it's just the USP, but it's enough because Rooster had no armor, had no helmets, and could not stand up to the default pistol, which costs the CTs no mana. It's good economic damage from Rooster, though. They take four guns away, and Bomb Plant picked up by them. Going to help them put together a much better looking buy in this round than they probably would have had access to. Orp goes over on a Chelios. Have to go down to the Galil there for Rackham. Get a bit of extra util. See what Rooster have for this gun round. Last gun round looked pretty uninspired. Felt like they just got picked off one by one. Trying to find timings across the map. Try walking up. They're going to need to see something a little bit more special than that. On this T side. Which uh, wasn't too successful the last time they played this map against BNK either. It was 8-4 for BNK to kick things off. Interesting that Rooster have opted to start T on Vertigo both times. Yeah. And BNK looking solid as ever. Even without Brace there. I think the thing that I dislike the most out of Hazard and Hats being on the same team 
is when you glance at who got the kills and they're both getting kills, sometimes it's a little bit too quick, you know? Valiance at the back of sight. Gonna be able to find 1v4 falling in the trade game. Not quite favoring Rooster here. Netic, however, gets the job done. Pushing up mid, cutting off the rotations, and Addict's now left in the 1v2. Very winnable, with Netic one bullet from being taken out of the round. And Rooster fully cutting sound as they walk back together. Bogdan's Law coming in full effect as Netic picks up the stick, but Addict doesn't know. Positioning is golden, and he's ready for the swing anyway. Nasty line for the T's to fight on. And there's another in the bag for BNK. There's no bomb plant from Rooster as well, Mac. So T side economy on 2.9. Loss bonus is still cooked. Are they, and they're forcing, apparently. Interesting. Down to Galil's. A Teagle. Util's not great. I mean, I don't need, I, the soft reset potential is there, but I'm looking at like PZ and Hats who have more cash. I think Rooster have got a little bit of a misread on how weak the CT economy actually is here. Uh, they're going to try to go for that reset potential anyway. Try to create themselves that window where they can start to forge their way back into this half. Netic making some space around the side of the smoke here on ramp side. Cops and Nade on the way on through. And the T's, see if they do join up with him. He's got a lot of space here, but the rest of the T's still kind of sitting back behind the ramp smoke Oof. and edging up ramp by himself. Instantly punished. All of these individual plays that usually Rooster gets away with are being punished quite heavily today by BNK. Pat's ready to swing in. Oh, here's those flashes coming and the timing not going to work in his favor. Thought he caught Rackham for a moment, but it's sap that's low. And Keezy continuing forward saw that little cheeky balaclava peeking around the corner. And the four on four, they will just slow it right down again. 40 seconds. And BNK still with some util to play with, some of which has been brought across by Valiance, who's going in first, gets the pick, and knows there's more numbers swinging, but there it all goes, hitting the ground. And the CT's trying to go with him. Oh, missing. And Rooster know there's at least two CT's here. Addict fights for elbow control instead. Takes that, lanes there in the bag, but the round is not quite there just yet until the CTs swing together and get the job done. Seven on the board now, and Rooster just cannot buy a round. Oh, they're kind of getting dominated. PZ's this is probably the best game I've seen him have in quite a while, to be honest. He's not been in the best form over the last little bit, and I've been a little bit critical of his level because we've seen what the ceiling of PZ is. Are we just forcing again? Like, I'm um, okay, we're, we're just hero rifling with the half bite for Rooster. Still want to keep that economic pressure on. Like, the reset potential is there, but it really does feel like, you know, usually Rooster, these individual plays that they make, they end up being quite fruitful. They end up converting into rounds. Today, it feels like they're donating first picks to BNK, and it looks quite silly. There's finally one of these initial duels that goes their way. Dink for Dink with an AK. Hats, unfortunately. Coming out the worst of that equation. And we'll see where to from here, Rooster. Might be able to find an opportunity to trade this one out with the man advantage, but for the moment, just regrouping. Maybe doing something similar to what we saw before, where they just swing in numbers on a timing. Once they take this A ramp control, then BNK just leaving. A lot of pressure on PZ's shoulders, expecting it to be a B hit. You can see it's a bit of a bait setup on B, which we won't see activated. Hazard is jiggling there with Valiant's full tucked. And Addict is going to have to make his way right back over. PZ living. And at least gets the equalizer. Might find more. Cannot stop Chill from the plant there. Attempted the wall bank. And then jumping nade. Okay, good damage. Cheeky bit of util there. The D chips him down to 40. And Chell with the rifle in hand needs to get some more work done. He was trying to. And Rackham. A little bit of a backstab on the sap there. But the T's look fine regardless. As Chell couldn't get it done with the rifle. Picks up the Tech 9 instead. And just shreds right through the ruse.
Yeah, and their economy. Look at that. Has our addict valiance all 1 to 2k in the bank account? Look, PC can buy an AWP. Hats can get himself an M4, but they're going to have to be pretty creative about how they approach this round. Especially given the fact that they're going to be hard reset right at the end of the half. If this one doesn't go well, then they're just down to pistol armor and that's it. So roost up with the half by hero AK. Opening kill found by TJP. That is a massive opportunity they're going to be able to take advantage of. They're trying to get themselves a 7-5 half. But again, opening pick going the way of BNK. PZ right now is on fire. It's been a while. But I'm absolutely here for it, Mac. I am too. And it's a great way to kick off the series. If Rooster could bring this back and keep it close, then... Maybe we got a bunch of entertainment on our hands for the evening. Valiance, crispy shot coming through there. The super sub laying down the groundwork and playing like it's nobody's business. Nine and seven right now and looking for some more. And Hazard Ooh. with a deagle in hand can be just as deadly. Smoke dousing the molly and PZ wanting to go in when he finds an opportunity, <laughs> but he might not have a chance to even shoot a shot because Chell now at a 1v5. Is looking to avoid every single one of these deagles as best he can. Because why the hell would you peek that when your whole team just got torn to pieces? Just getting one tapped across the map. Oh, 40 seconds here. Pichelios trying to save the orb. How hard is the hunt going to be from BNK? This is not something that the T's are going to be able to replace. And I think that BNK is starting to understand that. Well, while Chell saves here for the next 30 seconds, I just had a spot on HLTV and Asian CS is doing Asian CS things. The Mongols and Tyloo currently 23 to 23 right now in overtime uh, five or six. Sounds like fun. Doesn't look like fun. These are the Asian rivalries that we love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bit of a and stock take, of course, with the RMR around the corner. Both those teams are going to be there. Let's we'll see how they fare eventually. But these for the teams moment... not going to be at the RMR. But let's not talk about that. All good. <laughs> yeah, two Middle Eastern teams will be though, Mitchell. Did you know that? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like east coast of Australia or somewhere else? No, not the Middle East coast of Australia. Like, um, oh. The Middle East in the world. Yeah. Well, Chelios finally getting one back. That feels like the only the second or third opening kill that Rooster have had this entire half. And that kind of, I think, speaks a little bit about their round count. Let's see if they can convert this five on four. 1-1-3 one, one, from Rooster. Heavily focused around the ramp. Holding some B control. Holding a little bit of mid control. More so just spotting what's going on than really trying to do anything. Rooster understanding that CTs probably want to try to create an opportunity for themselves to even up this man disadvantage or mm. get some cheeky info to go for a rotation. And that's why you see pushes like this from Valiance. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> what is that? A double dink from Rackham on a pixel line like that. Instant punish. You'll take that for sure. Nasty line. And gets them a two-man advantage. But can Rooster capitalize on the advantage they're bringing into the round? Left side smoke goes down. And two more still there for Rooster. We've seen them go for this before. Just try to force out any aggression at lane. Try and burn more of that BNK utility on the three remaining members. And with 30 seconds, there is a molly in the hands of PZ. Look at that and see... It's going to be enough to try and stop that plant. But the molly at Tetris forces him into the open. And he's not going to be able to throw anything now. Netic doing God's work for Rooster. As Hazard in a 1v5. Has all odds against him. He's had a pretty good game so far. But there's bullets already coming that direction. And he couldn't find one. 8-4 to four will be the score at the half. And we'll see you just after the break for the second.
guess what? I was just joking, guys. I didn't want to pause. <laughs> I thought it was, you know, the best for everyone if we just got into the second half and kept on having the action. Because who knows what's going to be going down here in half number dos. Rooster now on the defense, and they are bringing four to the party here towards A. Yeah, look at this ramp control from BNK. A little bit of a standoff around the crane. CT's wondering if they should aggress in the mid round here as the util comes in. Netic's going to do exactly that. HE Nate going to tag up some of these players. Ooh. What a flash from the back lines, but it's still not going well yet. The T's seeming like they're trading out a little bit better, which leaves ASAP in a one on three here. Valiance crabs him around the smoke, snaps him up in his claws, and this is insane to me, Mac. What is this domination from a braceless BNK? Well, maybe Brace was the problem, huh? Let's go with that narrative. Brace what do you reckon? was the problem. Brace was the problem. That sounds about right, honestly. <laughs> if any, For anyone who's met him, you'll know what I'm talking about. He's a problem. That smile, man. <laughs> that damn smile. No wonder no one can focus. He's just smiling all the time. But look, BNK taking that pistol is going to make closing the game that little bit easier. Rooster, however, on the full eco. Flipping the coin, stacking B, and seeing just what damage they can do to the BNK economy. Yeah, with full USPs, you know, definitely got to reserve your expectations, especially considering they're on the wrong side of the map. So it's looking like BNK going to be zooming straight up to double digits, which is going to put Roostar pretty far behind these CT side comebacks. Very, very difficult. That's cheeky. Bit of dinks through the smoke. All spamming around everywhere. TJ. Waiting this smoke out. And it could be damage after that timer ticks even further down. But that's if they're allowed. Hazard and Hats teaming up to tear through Rooster. And we are going to see the Ruse jump into 10 on the board. Six rounds yeah, of we... difference now, and it's just uh, an odd position. But Rooster going into the first gun round for the half is their chance to change the tide. Yeah, let's see. A lot of hand armor being purchased up. They recognize how many Galils and the MAC-10 that B and K are bringing into this round. Initial control towards A ramp progression smoke on B stairs as well. B and K wanted to be very active with the map control. Straight up scaff with the flashes to help them scale pressure over on this sandbag player. And it's only a one for one, which puts Rooster in a bit of a predicament here. Yeah. They're really not respecting this A pressure though. The rotation's not really moving too much. Rackham's still taking a little bit of a look at mid. Now three over towards A here. But B and K are really not in a rush to be going anywhere. And Rooster is trying to hold the little util that they had left. Reach smoke on the scaff side and PZ. We'll give up the map control. Walk in from three here on the front side and PZ's got util in hand. There's not a lot you can do <laughs> against that timing from TJ. As Rooster find themselves the man advantage. But also, more importantly, clear out ramp. They know it's going to be the B hit now, but Sap, even though he was ready, just could not make anyone deady and that's a problem. HE's making all the difference here, thrown in either direction. Rackham's going to make the man advantage, favor the CTs. It's a bit of an open plant here for Hazard. Addict and Hazard, very dangerous riflers here in this region here. Very capable of converting this two on three from close Jenny crossfire. Oh, spotting him. Anetic going to bring it down to Hazard, who has to fight for something. Has to try to equalize the numbers there, but won't be able to trade. Rackham at the ready. And there is five secured now from Rooster. And they will get into the CT side right now. Three alive economy means that they're going to still be able to drop across and have decent util in the next. But BNK with a couple of clean rounds means they're buying up as well. So this could go sour really quickly for Rooster. Yeah, we'll see. Definitely going to be a swing route heading into this one. 1,900 loss bonus either side. Both teams emptying their bank accounts. Yeah. Obviously, BNK. Being on the T side and having the round buffer those, so they can definitely recover from dropping this round a whole lot easier than Rooster can. 
Pressure on the CTs now. Quick pacing once again from BNK. Initial U tilt to take some stairs control, but like you said, the HE nades doing a little bit of chip damage. Something that Rooster definitely improved on. Their U tilt usage has been much better than in previous uh, times. Mm. And just a little bit of U tilt pressure here for BNK. Trying to trade down grenades with Rooster in there. I've actually bled out a counter flash and a molly for a smoke. They'll definitely take that. Looks like BNK potentially setting up for a mid to be here. We haven't seen a lot of action at mid so far this game, but we're about to. And Nedic, he's been pretty solid every time there has been action. Molly over towards window just to slow the B split. And that nade might be used as well to keep on fighting. Flash through the CTs. They want this mid control as Valiant tries to open up the B site. Rackham going to be left out on an island. Push starting to come across the top. And now it's all up to Rackham. They know exactly where he is. And BNK don't have to go for anything other than the kill. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Fully swarming around him. Knew he was lurking in the smoke there. And that'll be 11. B and K just need two more rounds here on map number one to put one map in their back pocket and make closing out this series that little bit easier. Yeah, I mean, money's pretty cooked here for Rooster. Not really sure what the he should be going for. It's a hero rifle on ASAP. Rest of the boys investing in little bits of util. So saving for the next to try to make a seven round comeback against a T side with a strong economy is a very difficult prospect. Almost never see it happen for a reason. But do just want to say, it feels like BNK playing a very, very solid game right now, better than I've seen in a while. And uh, they did pick up this map against Rooster in the Chengdu calls and still got reverse swept. So got to reserve your expectations. It's a fantastic map of Vertigo from BNK so far. Heading into the site with the hero rifle here. Unfortunately, Oof. ASAP not getting a whole lot done today. And there you have it, BNK. Cracking open the B site. Rooster trying to rotate in time. Chell barely alive after getting chunked right down by the HE. And the smoke again on that side of Jen. It's going to make things even more difficult. But TJ had a little angle there. He's made some noise dropping. BNK are going to find him. Hats. Going to feel a bit of satisfaction with that kill on the TJP. And Hats, another. 12 secured. No chance for Rooster to make any more wrong steps as they will be buying up again into round 18. And we could be all said and done as I have got confirmation on where Brace is. Apparently, he booked a holiday and this qual got moved from the initial planned dates. So... Brace is not in the country. Mm. And now we all know. Well, he could well, be in the country. He never said where his holiday was, but... Fair enough. Yeah. Quick pacing up a ramp here. See if BNK can inflict a death Ooh. blow early on. Double entry. Looks good. Hats is on fire. They're going to keep on fighting for this control here. Rooster... Looking to rely heavily on Netic Smoke on the front of site to try and block and slow the Ruse down and try to buy time for these rotations through, but nothing is working out for Rooster at all. Rackham going to be able to finally find one, but it's cost him a huge amount of his health there, standing, tanking the molly, and a slow flank coming from Valiance. In the meanwhile, the other T's just need to cut sound, need to wait for this flank to come through as the bomb traverses its way back to B. It isn't needed. Valiance stabs him in the back, and that will be that. So.